Why is there always airplanes? This place is the worst for airplanes. But anyways, welcome. Today we're gonna do another skate work day. Except it's only gonna be about half a skate work day, unfortunately, because I actually have to go and do some real work too. So, some of the things I need to do today is I need to wrap up my review of this deck so I can put a new one on and I want to get a tutorial done for you guys and I also wanted to put some of that money you guys have contributed to good use. So I went to Ultimate, I was going to buy a Powell flight deck but unfortunately they didn't have any flight decks in the right size because actually they're selling like hotcakes so people are liking them, they're doing a good job with them and they're selling out of them. So it's going to be about two or three weeks before I can go and buy one that is the size that I want because I want to make sure that I'm riding something I like. I mean everything they had was 8.5 and up and had the pointy nose and tail which is not my deal. But I didn't come out of there empty handed. It's hard to come out of there empty handed. I decided to get a pair of Bones wheels. So these are the Chris Joslin V5 shape so it's a wider wheel which is more similar to the Spitfire Classics I've been riding except it's got a little cutout in it. We'll take a better look at them for a review but I'm going to put these on a new deck today and then I got some hard luck bearings, six ball speed bearings. So these ones were pretty cheap. I'm not expecting too much out of them but I just need something to roll in these wheels. So first things first I'm going to do some warming up in preparation to try and get tech on these ledges, which will be saved for the review, but we'll see what can happen. These new Indy 144s haven't touched concrete yet. Let's give them their first kiss. I need a little more flak around before I go full bore onto these ledges. All right, time to warm up on these ledges before I start doing some flippy slides for the review of this deck. I'm pretty sure I accidentally just snorted a fly while I was riding around. They're everywhere. <laughs> I'd love that to look a little better, but technically that's my first. All right, to close out this session, I'm gonna show you a flat ground trick that I might be getting back. Let's see. I think so. But the only problem is these match courts are so insubstantial here, it's like hurting my ankle bone to do them. Oh. Future Bank can clean those up. So if I'm lucky, I'll get another chance to skate on a new setup today and maybe we'll have another flat ground session if you guys aren't tired of that yet. But if I can't today, it'll have to be another day this weekend. So I did not actually get out skating again yesterday because my wife and I were actually celebrating 10 years of marriage yesterday. So now it's Saturday today. I'm making a quick dinner for the kids so I can run out and skate for Saturday evening. Now what have we got on the menu? We've got some cornmeal slop. 
black beans. And, and for the greens, when you don't have it in you to make a salad, this is what I do. I just hack up an iceberg lettuce into quarters and we all just munch on that. Kids love it and I don't have to make a salad. It may not be glorious, but they will be fed and I will be out skating. So I have landed at the Tawasin Skate Park to skate this Solus deck. We got these new wheels. You guys get a good look at that graphic. Chris Joslin with a little baby. You know, I bought these wheels because I thought, hey, I guess he's had a kid and you know, jumping all the stuff he's jumping down, somebody's gotta support him. Cause I mean, my goodness, you can't do that forever. Anyways, let's get to skating this park. Warm up on some curbs and manuals. It's not a Tawasin session for me, unless I do some blasting off the big bank. Fatty to flatty time. So that was fun for a while. And then I just spent a whole lot of energy trying to get a few more tricks out of that thing. And I'm done now. Tells me it's time for me to play around off camera. So before I go, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has sent products in for me to skate and to anyone who has contributed to the Patreon or the GoFundMe, again, thank you. I can't wait to be putting that money to good use. So thanks for watching. I've got more videos to edit than time to do it, but there's more on its way. So again, Thank you, you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.